Good evening and thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Daniela Guzman. No funeral, no death certificate, no ashes. Tonight, that is what some families say they are dealing with after losing their loved one. And investigators say this man, Javon Major, posed as a funeral director. They believe there are more victims. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry has more on the scheme. All new at 10. The investigation started eight months ago. Tonight, two people have been arrested and victims are still demanding justice because they say in some cases their loved ones bodies were bloated and dark when they should have been embalmed. My son got killed and for him to come and take advantage of us. That's not right. Anita Thomas is one. I have never heard of anybody doing this, but this man needs to be buried under the jail. Shadamis Hicks is another, both united in grief, but caught in a scheme. It turns my stomach because you're dealing with people at the most vulnerable time of their lives. Investigators from Harris County Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen's office arrested 26-year-old Javon Major and 38-year-old Sandy Broussard, him for forgery and her for theft, after a tip from the Texas Funeral Commission. He posed as a licensed funeral director and mortician investigators say the pair forged signatures of beneficiaries and got life insurance money of dead people. Funerals were supposed to take place and there would be no funeral. Embalming was supposed to take place on some of these uh, fa family members and it didn't happen. When I walked in and I looked at my son, his body was bloated. He was dark. This victim says Major didn't embalm her son properly. I had to run out to church because I couldn't deal with the smell. And she still doesn't know if the ashes she's wearing are her own son's. In some cases, Rosen says Major would reach out to families. When I say this man is a good talker, he can talk you down. Claiming to be friends with the deceased in others. He got a suit on. He looking real nice. You know, he like, oh, I, I, this is my business card. Like, he got it all planned out just like a scammer does. No matter how he did it, these alleged victims haven't been able to grieve appropriately and say he must be stopped. I don't know. I cry. I, I, I can't believe it. And I just feel like if justice not served, then we've been failed. Tonight, both Major and Broussard are out on bond, according to records, but the constable's office says this is an ongoing investigation and they want to hear from you if you may have been a victim as well. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.